So to pick it up, so you have a bi-weekly show. Yes. So my question is, um, well, I guess I have a bunch of them, but to start with, how long now does a show take? So let's say today you come up with an idea, I want to talk about this. Then how long does it take from when you start working on that to it's uh, published, or at least it's a ready-to-publish episode? Oh, wow. Uh, six months to a year probably um, still. Okay. Uh, because right now we have stories in production that won't mm -hmm. air. And right now, as we're recording this, it's late June 2021. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. But we have um, shows in production that won't air until close to this time next year, um, just because it takes so okay. long. And I don't like being yeah. rushed. And I think that what you hear on a lot of um, like public radio and stuff, um, they're mm -hmm. very, they're incredible writers. And that's the thing too is we're we're good, we're really good writers, but we're not like yeah. the best in the world because we're sound experts and we're just trying to get sure. great writers to kind of provide us with things. Uh, but what you hear most of the time is kind of like the product of ru of, of of how fast you have to move um, in most shows, yeah. especially if you're doing yeah. weekly or whatever. And that's one of the things I didn't want to go weekly. And we've tried before mm -hmm. for various circumstances. Last year, we did a, like eight weeks in a row. And it was miserable because we felt like we had to water everything down. We never quite got to where we wanted to go. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, because we were trying to like keep up with impressions and stuff like that. And it just, ugh, right, it just right, watered right. our show down. And so, um, yeah, so that's, uh, so nowadays it takes about six to a, six months to a year from the moment we kick it off to it be an air to it airing to break that down mm -hmm. a little bit more. The first thing that's the most challenging is really just getting aligned with a writer. So usually that'll take mm -hmm. a week or two. We'll kind of have a kickoff call. Then they'll go off and kind of do a rough outline with a few guests that they think would be perfect for this. They'll send okay. that back, um, to me and Casey, our, our uh, story producer, Mm -hmm. We'll uh, kind of review it and go, oh, what about this? This would be a cool idea, too. And, oh, I like this guest. I like that guest. Or, mm -hmm. oh, here's a si another guest that I just happen to hear about that might be interesting. And then uh, we try to reach out to the guests. Depending on how much they, uh, how quickly they respond can can speed yeah. the show up. Um, I, if we have to get it like a celebrity or we're trying to get a celebrity, that takes forever. Mm -hmm. Or alternatively, mm -hmm. if we're trying to get someone in a company that is super high up the food chain and, you know, they like, you know, the person who led the entire branding for Netflix, they're, you know, it's sure. a multi-billion dollar company and they want to make yeah. sure that everything is, you know, legit and, you know, it's not yeah. smeary or any of that stuff. So it takes just a long mm -hmm. time to get the people. I mean, sidebar, I really try not to rely on celebrities and stuff. I, I think the show could grow sure. faster if I was just like celebrity, celebrity, celebrity. But I just don't want to highlight yeah. celebrities. I want to highlight mm -hmm. the actual experts who are doing, who've been doing the sound work for years quietly in their labs. <laughs> and I want to get their voice out there, not the celebrity yeah, who's doing yeah, this yeah. all the time. So that's another thing. It's just like kind of, it, it's, it doesn't make the growth so fast, but it, yeah. it's, it's more authentic in my mind. Um, yeah. Yeah, where was I going with that? What was the next? Oh, yeah, and then it's just like writing fate. Once the kickoff, once we get the get the recording of the the interview, mm -hmm. sometimes we have to send people microphones, or put them in a recording studio, or send an audio mm -hmm. person to them because the number one thing okay. with our show is you have to have great sound, v uh, dialogue, like great interview yeah. sound because everything yeah. relies on that. It, like mm -hmm. if we have a phone interview, it's so hard to get sound designer music to speak because of just the mm -hmm. how uh, degraded that is. So we're mm -hmm. very, very like focused on um, great sounding uh, dialogue. And if you ever hear a piece of interview on twenty thousand hertz that was that is recorded semi poorly, I can guarantee you we toil over that and frustrate in frustration for weeks yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we're trying yeah. to you know f trying to make something worth uh, uh, mm -hmm. work there. So yeah, then when we we have two transcripts, usually if we have two guests, so we get all the transcripts, and then the writer just kind of head down and writes, and then it's just Tetris, yeah. like complicated story Tetris to kind of bring together these stories in the most clear, simple mm -hmm. ways. Um, they will we'll do a table read once they're happy, they'll go back after the table read, and you know we'll rip it apart in a table read. They'll go back, mm -hmm. rebuild the story, send it back in. We'll rip it apart again. They'll go back, rebuild the story, then usually submit mm -hmm. it. And then at that point, usually Casey on staff is going to rip it apart and, and just, you know, clean every little bit up and get the quirks as far sure. as like how I like to read things and how I like to perform things um, situated. Okay. Music yeah. is always super complicated to figure out what, what tone speaks and uh, mm -hmm. putting in starts and stops for music. Um, I'm also a big believer that sound uh, effectiveness in sound does not happen in the sound design phase. It happens in the scripting phase. So everything... Mm -hmm 
needs to be written. I mean, you can you can read our scripts, and you will you will mm-hmm. hear you will read all of the sound design that's going to go in it. Um, right, you could, right, right, uh, right. You could just watch it and be like, the, and we'll explain exactly what we want to hear in every moment. Yeah. So I'm a big believer. Everything needs to be on the script, and uh, then it's all like nuance. So once we have, you know, okay. once we have the script, you know, we've gone back and forth. Eventually, it's hitting me to actually read this, read the sh- the show, and record it. Yeah. And then we put all of those materials. We have the clean recordings of the dialogue. We have my recordings that are nice and clean. We have any sort of um, all the music. Uh, hopefully, by this point, has been picked, and we have all of our. Um, you know, if there's any sort of like examples along the way, those are sitting there if they're youtube videos that we need to pull a clip from or something um those are all okay. kind of put in a bucket with the script and then we send it to our um our external sound editor since mm-hmm. the studio is really busy with sound design um we just found a couple of years ago that we couldn't we couldn't do shows from beginning to end all internally and have our current workload yeah. so we have a sound editor soren who takes uh takes it and then does two three four passes with just casey our story editor and then mm-hmm. once uh, they're happy with it, uh, then Soren submits it, and then we assign a sound designer to it. They do two, three, yeah. four, five, ten review back and forth with Casey, and then eventually, when they're really happy, then I come into it and listen to it. Mm-hmm. And then I, you know, two, three, four reviews or whatever, um, and then eventually yeah. get to a place where we're happy. And we're trying to be done with our episodes completely two to four weeks before we actually launch, because then we want to okay. send it to people who might want to write about it or if there's some sort of publication that that would find this interesting we want to tip them off and things so it's a huge it's 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 so i mean when i say it all like that it's so complicated but it just feels like we're in a constant tsunami of writing and scripting and reading and for all kinds of shows like sometimes i cannot even like my brain is like four episodes ahead we launch something and i'm like oh god someone's asking me a question about that show that just launched today and i don't even remember yeah (laughs) So it's yeah, I mean, a, a to, lot. to me, it, it sounds it sounds like me, like making a movie or or a TV show. Like it, it's in a scaled down way like for can, sure. What we're capable yeah, of in a, in kind of in our uh, audio bubble. 